Hey y'all, I am in the kitchen making some yummy chicken pie. Uh, I've got some people that's requested that I make yummy chicken pie, so here I am gonna make some yum yummy chicken pie. And the reason it's called that is because it really is yummy. I came across that recipe a long, long time ago and my kids love it. Uh, I had a child growing up, one of them, and I shall not name names, but he would not like his vegetables touching his other food so we had to come up with a yummy chicken pie recipe that he would eat so i have to serve this pie with vegetables but there's no vegetables in the pie so it's a yummy chicken pie and in the cookbook it is on page 11 yummy chicken pie and remember that cookbook is the bicentennial cookbook which is sold out now but I am working on my second edition and I will have these recipes in there for you. So I'll let you know when it comes out. But anyway, yummy chicken pie, page 11. Now I'm gonna first tell you what all's in it. Now we have the three pounds of cooked chicken, which I've deboned and de-skinned, and it's in this beautiful bowl. I've got two cups of chicken broth. Now remember, we, we stewed our chicken, so we got all that broth. So you do want to use that homemade broth. It is so good. So you do want to use that. You need one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of chicken soup, one stick of melted butter, one cup of self-rising flour, which I have here in my big flour bin, and then one cup of buttermilk, which I have right here, and then pepper to taste, and that's what I have right here. So we've got the chicken. The first thing we're gonna do is spray our nine by 13 pan because we don't want a mess cleaning this up. So we might as well spray it with a little bit of stuff right there. So we have, we're going to put our chicken in it right now. Just pour that chicken out into it and just spread it out. See, this is real easy. Just spread your chicken out. Now I've already salted my chicken, but if you hadn't, you'll want to salt your chicken at this point. So you got your chicken here. So the next thing you're gonna do is heat the broth and the soup till uh, it's warm and mixed together. So what we're gonna do with that, here, let's pour it in here. We're gonna heat the broth and the soup. We're gonna put it in this beautiful thing right here that I just poured the chicken out of. We're gonna mix it up. And what I do with mine, you can do one or two things. You can put it in the microwave and get it good and melty, or you can put it uh, on the stove, but I'm gonna put mine in the microwave because that's what I do. And you're just gonna stir it very well and pop it down in the microwave. Now my microwave is right here, so I, you can't see it, but I'm gonna put it down in the microwave right now and get it started. And here's my little microwave pot holder I put under it so I don't burn myself. Okay, I'm gonna cover it with something so it doesn't pop and we'll get that going probably about four minutes and see what state it's in when it gets done. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, put the butter, flour, pepper, and buttermilk together. So we're gonna put it together in here. So we need a cup of flour. And remember, I have this measure thing in my beautiful van right here. Ooh, get me a cup of flour. Let me swap hands, that might work better, right? All right, I got me a cup of flour, I'm putting it in there. I love my flower band. Did I tell y'all I love my flower band? See how pretty that is? I know it. Uh, okay, so we got that right there. And then the next thing we got to put in there with it is uh, pepper. Now, I like a lot of pepper in mine, and you've got to do it to suit your family. But how much I usually use is one teaspoon of pepper. And they like it, so they had not complained about it. So we use a teaspoon of pepper in there but you can use how much you and your family likes. Um, and then we need to get ready and put the buttermilk. We're gonna stir this up in here a little bit. Then we're gonna pour in the buttermilk and make a little hole in the middle, just like you do when you're making your ugly biscuits. And then pour in the butter right here. All right, 
this is our topping and remember when you saw me make the ugly biscuits I told you that those biscuits were a cross between a topping for one of my casseroles this is the casserole as well as some drop biscuits that I've made before so there we go this is pretty thin pretty thin just stir it together and what we're doing right now is waiting on this stuff to get heated down here so I'm going, it's been in there for about two minutes. And just so you'll know, I didn't tell you at the beginning, but this, our, your oven has to be preheated to 425. And after you get it in there, it's gonna take around 25 to 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven temperature to uh, to cook. And you're gonna want it, see it's, this'll, this'll be done. The chicken's already done, but what you're cooking is the uh, beautiful topping that's, that's you're gonna love, your family's gonna love this topping. I have cooked this many, many times, and I've given out this recipe, believe it or not, over a thousand times, I sure have. And it's a recipe that's tried and true, and has been handed down forever, and I think your family's gonna love it. And, the, and to boot, it's really, really easy to make. So here we go, let me pull this out and see what state we're in. Okay, let me get my little whisk over here. Pull this out. I don't want to be burnt, but you know how it is. Yeah, I have. I love my little pot holders that go under my pans when I put them in there. A, a lady made them, and I found them at a craft show, and I bought a good many of them because I don't like getting burnt when I pull stuff out of the microwave. Okay, well, we got it. It only went for three minutes, y'all. And I stirred this all together. And this, remember, from our other step, is going to be poured over our chicken. So here we go. Now, y'all, I know you think, oh, my goodness, is this going to soak up or not? This is going to soak up. It's going to be fine. You just pour all this over your chicken and get it all evenly spread. Very good. Very good, let me put that out of the way. It's hot, baby. Okay, so we've got the, the broth that I did poured in there, and now what we're gonna do is just pour this in there, okay? And so, and it looks like little dollops, kind of like the ugly biscuits, but you can just kind of start pouring and just spread it out all over. It's real simple. It's not real pretty when you're spreading it out all over, but I promise y'all, you're gonna love it when you get through. Don't be scared. Cooking's nothing to be scared of, and if something doesn't go right, just take it as a learning experience and move on. And when I get it all poured out, I'll take my spoon and kind of just spread it out. Let me get a, let me get those drops right there because they're going to be real good. So I'm just going to try to spread it out like here with my little spoon. And you see, it's not, a, it's not a beautiful thing to look at, but it will be in just a minute. I promise you. When we put it in that oven, about 30 minutes later, it's going to be delicious. And we're going to look for it to be browned on top. And your oven might be different. It could be 40 minutes, but I'll let you know. I'll turn this off and then bring you back a minute after I get it out of the oven. So here we go, putting it in the oven. Come on, yummy chicken pie, do your stuff. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you back in about 30 to 40 minutes with a yummy chicken pie. See you later. Hey, y'all, guess what? The yummy chicken pie is smelling this kitchen up and it's done. I'm about to pull that baby out of the oven. Hang on. Ooh, ooh look at this. Look at this. Now this is a yummy chicken pie. It smells so good in here. It smells really good and this is really hot. So what I'm gonna do right now is talk to you just a little bit about some of this stuff over here. Now I am gonna wanna taste a little bite or two before we go. So what I'm gonna do is dip a little bit out in this beautiful little bowl for me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It is hot, I just touched the pan. 
Now we're gonna have this for supper, so I'm not gonna eat too much of it, but I'll just get a little bite and make sure it was worth the trouble. So we're gonna let that cool off right now, and I wanna to talk to y'all about what we've got today from processing and stewing, also known as boiling uh, our chicken. Remember, I did six pounds of chicken, so I have this beautiful chicken here that I've pulled off the bone and cleaned up that's ready for me to make another meal, and I've got all this chicken broth that I'm going to be able to use for different things later, and I'm still working on filling this up. So I'm going to fill this up completely and work on this a little bit, and then this stuff will go in the freezer, and I can make you know, this broth right here that you make yourself is so delicious. And you're going to be so happy you made it. And your family will be because they'll be, it makes a difference because it's got some really good taste to it because you made it yourself. So I'm proud that we got in the kitchen together and you know how easy this is to do now and you know how easy it is to make yummy chicken pie. And I'll probably serve this up with some green beans or maybe some peas, maybe a salad just whatever I have on hand that day. But tonight, I'm serving it up with peas with a little jalapeno pepper in it. So uh, that's what we're having tonight for supper. Now at this point, this is still piping hot. So y'all just say a prayer for our country and what we're going through right now while I blow on this. It smells delicious. You're gonna love it. I've given this recipe out so many times and I, I'll have people that stop me and say, I take your recipes to people at church or I take your recipes to the get togethers and this is the one they take the most is the yummy chicken pie. Okay, I'm going in folks, wish me luck. Mmm. It, it, it's, it, it rates up to its name. It's, I'm speechless. It's so good. I'm fixing to go in and get another bite. Mm-mm. Mm. I wish you were here. I'd give you a bite of this stuff. Y'all know I can't stand for anybody to be hungry. So I'll take one more bite for you, and then I'm going to tell you, from my kitchen to your heart, I love you. Have a good day. Let's keep our chin up during this time. Yummy chicken pie, people. Bye.